I definitely need a straw, <laughs> a stronger gear there, but, oh, Welcome to episode 5 of Homebrew Horology, a series in which I'm trying to design my own 3D printable watch movement from scratch. If you're new to the channel and you like this sort of content, subscribe because I post a new episode every Tuesday. So I left off last week with adjusting my watch escapement design, and I thought this week I'd expand upon that and add the gear train. I experimented with different ways to examine how the power is transferred from the center wheel all the way to the escape wheel. All right, let's get started. So right now I wanna go ahead and try to make the moment of inertia of the balance wheel a little smaller so that I can get a faster beat rate. I can adjust um, it to be the BPM that I want. I'm gonna try something like maybe 180 or 240 beats per minute. Okay, so on a stroke of pure luck, right here, 30, 32 beats, and as you can see, exactly eight seconds. Now this is 32, but four of them together, that's uh, 128 and this entire this entire clip is 32 seconds if you do the math 128 divided by 32 that's four beats per second and that is precisely something that I was aiming for 240 or 180 beats per minute that means I can make the gear ratios from the escape wheel to the fourth wheel pinion etc okay also now that I know the beat rate, which is 240, I can calculate the gear ratio of the escape wheel pinion to the fourth wheel, um, which should be 1 to 10. Wheel to print. I'm actually gonna try to. I'm actually gonna right now record the. Sorry, the pitch diameters. So I was able to figure out the distance between the centers of these gears, and I also tried to do some preliminary torque calculations. I've also gone ahead and calculated the amount of torque. Um, I've also gone ahead and calculated the ratio between the amount of torque that's outputted in the escape wheel uh, to the amount of torque that's inputted into the center pinion. And it comes out to be a one to 600 reduction. managed to get these two pieces of scrap wood and I'm hopefully going to be able to figure out how to drill some holes 
and I guess stick some brass rods in them. That's my idea for now. I'm also borrowing my dad's drill and drill bits. Uh, hopefully I'll find a size that, that works. I also want it to be slightly smaller than the brass rod itself, just so that I can have a nice pressure fit. At first glance, it doesn't seem like I can get the rod in. This is a 1.6 millimeter hole, but this is a 1.8 millimeter rod. I think that's a little too big. Um, I guess the only two drill bits that were close enough to two millimeters were either 1 16th drill bits or 3 30 seconds, and there's nothing in between. Uh, so I'm gonna have to end up I guess using 1.6 millimeter or 1 16th of an inch and just wiggling it around. I think it'll work. I have to use my sister's compass because I do not own a compass of my own. try going back over these holes once again to try to widen them just a little bit. I'm going to try to use the drill as a lathe, see how well I can clean up the end. It sort of worked. that surprisingly, surprisingly well. In the meantime, this print finished, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the plate. And here is the moment of truth. Now the first thing I'm noticing, there is a lot of friction. Like I can't even, I think we might need some spacers in that case. The gears are way skewed. So I'm going to need to put some spacers of some sort. What I think I'm going to do is use some brass tubing. Forgive me, I realize that this could be a lot easier if I just used some vice grips, but I do not have vice grips. it up to the escapement and while it is less than perfect um, I think it, it works if I exert force from the third wheel instead of the center wheel because then it just locks up way too much but if we give this a little push it works from the fourth wheel which is nice and from the third wheel, nice, it also works. The center wheel, it's, it's really tough. So I've just figured out a quick mounting solution. Just use two M3 bolts and washers to secure it into place. And now when I apply pressure, So this is 
definitely not perfect um, because there's just so much play here. If I apply pressure on the second, or I guess the third wheel, I can get a decent amplitude on the balance wheel. But if as soon as I switch to the actual center wheel, it, be it becomes a lot harder. I think this is way too flimsy because whenever I try to rotate it, it always deforms. But I'm still able to somehow transfer power from this end to that end. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try adding a weight to the end of this, uh, to, the, to the center wheel on the outside and just see how much force it actually takes to get the balance wheel spinning. I don't even know if this gear is strong enough to hold a couple pounds of weight. Oh, look at that. That doesn't look good. But I think we I think we have something here. <laughs> I definitely need a straw, <laughs> a stronger gear there, but oh, pff. oh, pff. Ah. I guess that's that's what it takes to get the the balance balance wheel going. Got that on film. One thing I want to try to do is test the accuracy. Now, I did mention that I got exactly four beats per minute uh, with this configuration. I just want to see if that's actually the case when I add in more gears. I'm also marking a seconds hand. All right, I'm gonna start timing it once the second hand passes uh, the escape wheel. So here goes, oh. Last thing I'm gonna do do for today because it's getting a, a little late. Um, I'm gonna make a gear that's completely solid. That's gonna be the center wheel. Here we go. Now, since this is a fully solid model, the print time is pretty long. So I think this is the last thing I'm gonna do tonight before heading off to bed. So, here we go. So as the first layer is printing, um, some teeth are lifting, but eh, I really don't want to restart the print, and I'm pretty sure it'll be alright in the end, so...
that's about as far as I'm gonna go for this week. I'd say it was a success, and I look forward to expanding upon this next week. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment down below, and consider subscribing. It really helps me grow as a channel and allows me to reach more people with similar interests. Alright, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.